there is a video that went viral and it is that of a popular let us still say popular because he became popular when he imprisoned a lady a woman who says she is an investigative journalist a pharmacist and many other things i'm talking about kemiolu lawyer yes this pastor is called ibiomi is based somewhere are we going to say south south or southeast well he's based in porakot i believe and he said some things about white garment church and he went deep he said you see i hate them a lot of you don't know why i hate them this is how he speaks you, you don't know why i hate them i hate them because they do this they do that they do this and white garment pastors reverend evangelist and their prophets many of them spoke back they replied him and you know some even went as far as saying that they have more grace and power than their senior daddy geo oedepo and ea adeboe they said those people have no grace well i don't know maybe grace can be interpreted as having a lot of crowd i'm i'm gonna allow you guys watch this video and we'll talk more do you know why i hate white government churches in quotes do you know why i hate them if you know what they do you will never like them and those who know david be your man tell him there are certain red lines you don't cross and i think you just crossed one take your own john name son name and put inside a bottle of gin and making captations, making captations. So this boy, as this genie is, that's how the boy will be drinking. They, that, ask them to do it. All these celeb prophets, they will take the name of someone and put inside kakai, no kakai, hot drink, and then make. They will read all those demonic psalms. Read them, read them, read them. Then the boy will just like this. I said, give me a bottle of schnapp. <laughs> boy was not drinking before. At that, I say, Satan, take your hands off. And I stand as your own pastor. Any child under you held down by the devil, I command them, lose the name of Jesus. <laughs> by the blood of the covenant, they'll be free right now. He said, wherefore? Look. Certain people have called me to ask what my opinion is. I initially, I didn't want to talk about this man called um, David the Biome. By age, you will be 60 something, if I'm not mistaken. It only means we are within the, the same age bracket, if I will count very well. I don't know whether you enjoy the grace of God at the level at which you are, or it is some of those things that you people do that we know that we don't want to talk about. I don't want to go, I don't want to talk about the things you people do. I don't want to talk about it. And I think from your experience as a church leader over some decades, You've seen a lot of Pentecostal churches doing a whole lot of terrible things. And I don't think there was a time any white garment church came out to condemn them, to abuse them, or to do something. There are certain people who go into their DM and talk to them. It doesn't matter which denomination they belong. To correct them and say these narratives are wrong. But the word he used, the, the, the G.O. David the Bayoman, the word he used, I hate shouldn't be coming from you. Let me give this to you. I think, I think, put me in bracket. I think you are a GO of repute at your level. And hearing your followers, hearing you saying you use the word I hate, I don't think that is reasonable for a church leader to speak derogatorily about another denomination do we use what some pentecostal pastors do to a judge that all pentecostal churches are frauds do we use that as a yardstick do we use what some of your irritated people do and say you commit adultery you do this a whole lot of scandal on social media have we ever used that to a judge the body of a pentecostal fellowship as a whole if you fall victim of one or two individuals, it doesn't make you to condemn every other individual. And you don't use the word hate. As close as Judas was to Jesus, he still betrayed Jesus. It only means within every denomination you have the black sheep. Even in your denomination, there are black sheep.
But for you to now come out and say, I hate the white government churches. Do you know the meaning of hate? Are you a religious teacher? And when Jesus came, he said, I did not come for the righteous, but the sinners. Why don't you show them the light with love? Why don't you preach the ministry, the gospel of Jesus, which is love, that all may be one. And you want, to, you want me to see you tomorrow and love you, respect you. And go check very well that your church where you are the G.O. 80% of your members are one-time members of the white government churches. I make bold to say that without reservation. And some of them do have beautiful experience, you know. And even up till now, you know 70% of those your church members who you do G.O. over still come to the white government churches. Don't live in a fool's paradise. And don't live on illusions. And if you're in a glass house, you don't trust things. Welcome back. Welcome back. Now, this story is still the same about a, a two popular prophets. They became popular on social media as a result of the work of a blogger. I'm talking about prophet Tibetan white garment and prophet Adebayo, who has his own roots and foundation in CAC. He said the covenant of God, now I'm quoting prophet Adebayo, he said the covenant of God with them, the power that they work with is much more than that that the white garment who make use of seven book of Moses, make use of the mystery of the, that those are occultic spiritualists and many other names. He said, the covenant that we have with God is more than that. He said, how can he be opening the seven book of Moses? And what is seven book of Moses? And, you know, basically, basically, there are some white garment who say they conjure, they use the word, we conjure spirits. Now, when you look at the Pentecostals and Christ Apostolic, I mean the Apostolic and Pentecostals, you really, apart from those who have their routine, you know, but basically, you, you don't hear them say, I conjure, and they begin to call some angels. I don't know. They say it is angel. I don't know if it is angel. You don't hear them conjure spirits. Let's use the word spirit because now I don't know if these are angels or falling angels called demons to do their biddings. I do not know about that. But you barely find, in fact, you don't find such. Now, I don't know maybe the core or the foundation or the base of some of these Pentecostals because we have different types of them uh, that are sprouting right, left, and center, different, you know. Many of them will say they are prophetic, they are apostles, they are senior prophet, major prophet, CR1, and we, we don't know the power behind if they are conjuring fallen angels or they are connected to the Holy Spirit. It is it, it is just 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 complicated and complex. In fact, it got to a point whereby even T.B. Joshua, who according to Inside had said, behind the scene, he operates some spiritual white garment kind of, and of course, he, he through the journey of his life, he had some contacts with them. But I have heard, this is not them say, where T.B. Joshua berated some white garments in a way. He didn't talk too much. He just said, no, those white garments, they are not really, like, they are not really sound was he trying to meander his way or attach himself to the Pentecostals who practice differently? But people who are close to T.B. Joshua say he has all this Holy Malaika, uh, 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 Holy Mary, all of these people, titles that you will find in white garment churches, either Kiruba and Serafu or, or Celestia, you, you will find most of these people operating in this you know, realm. Now, 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 with this, that is spreading everywhere with white garment saying that majority of your members, majority of your pastors come from our own, you know, denomination. How dare you people say this? And let us be sincere. Majority of the names that you know today, they are either Muslims, their parents give back to them, and they are Muslims that they decide to change. Like, for example, we heard that his parents are Muslims or his ancestors or whatever. He came from that lineage. Either they were idol worshiper, they moved into Islam. And now he's into Christianity in his own way. Even Adeboye too, there are a lot of things. Even the foundation of the redeemed church, they say it is from Keru and Serafu. And the man said, no, I think I am receiving a new dimension. Whatever that means. Deeper life, it came from white garment. Celestia, this is our, or is it Kerubu? It came from a white garment church anyway. But then, even this um, Daystar, the same thing. But... Coming from a background, does it mean 
that that background is what you are practicing i mean are you still with that teaching or you felt that you were in darkness and now you are in light because according to pastor kumui he said all those while all they did was clap and go into trance and all of that that there was no salvation there meaning there is no god there for him that is his own conviction and he came up with deeper life you know bible church many of them are like this they believe that white garment churches are so diabolic they go to invoke they go to the sea that you cannot separate white garment practices some white garment practices let's say the majority of white garment practices you cannot separate them from alawo babalawo unifa and many of these traditional worshipers because when you consult them they speak in those tongues they give you the vision they tell you what they want to tell you and they tell you you have to do certain you know things and when you look at the things they ask you to do it's not different from the babalawo that you went to meet or the ifa priest ifa priest is saying oh you have to go and do something on your head um you have to go and appease your your spiritual friends and you meet white guy and they say ah, you have to go and appease your spiritual friends you have to go to the sea you have to go and give them some things we have to so when you listen to many of them it is either they are coming from such background and they are into the white garment or they believe that god sent everybody depending on where and what department he sent you either as abalist babalawo or pentecostal or islamic cleric if you go to some islamic clerics too at times some of them will give you such solutions and say go and bring a white pigeon go and do this we are going to use it you see but we have some who do not tell you so they will say listen you cannot serve god and the other gods stick to god god does not require you jesus christ has died so why are you offering this and offering that so these things are so complex and complicated i don't know what your thoughts are as regards this one drop it in the comment section like and share this video subscribe to this channel see you in the next update